guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your June 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this, if this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So tell me about Virgo in love. What's going on with Virgo in love and the person that they are connecting with here for um, June 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs for Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have here for you guys. All right, we have the Nine of Swords here and the Hierophant. Mm, there's definitely some sort of stress and anxiety surrounding this connection here. Uh, you're wondering if this person's commitment to you or promises that they made to you, you're wondering if this is like real or not, or that this person is faking it or playing you here. There's definitely some sort of fear. There's some, definitely some sort of paranoia that's happening here, uh, Virgo. Yeah, we have the lovers here, Gemini energy, Hierophant here, Taurus energy. This is really interesting because there's like some sort of uncertainty here or that you're unsure if this person's being genuine and sincere here with you virgo i feel like you're about to end this connection here with this person yeah i mean someone here might not be someone here could be very cagey someone here is just not maybe uh, tends to uh, not communicate transparently and, or openly here the empress libra taurus the death card scorpio energy tell me the nine of swords here we have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, the Hierophant here, and the Nine of Cups. Interesting. I don't know. It's almost like, I feel like someone here is being manipulated here. I don't know if someone else is manipulating your person here. But I, I feel like also with the Magician here, I feel like you've done everything that you can to make something work here, but I feel like something's not working here. This is like actually affecting your happiness. We have the Eight of Swords here and the High Priestess. Deep down inside, you know that there's something going on here. And I feel like what you're doing here is that you're trusting your intuition, you're trusting your gut feeling here. The High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the Lovers here, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like you I, I feel like you know that there's something wrong here. There's something going on here. We have the hangman, Piscean energy, the death card here, and the page of wands. Maybe someone's true colors are showing here. Someone here could have shown up as a page, but they, they pass themselves off as a like a very mature individual, but in fact they're not really. Uh, I mean, what you're sensing here is that this person could, I mean, it seems uh, to me it's like a third party situation because there's three people here. You know, your person could be sleeping with other people and you're let, and you know, you could be asking this person if they're seeing or talking to other people, but they're lying to you here. But you know that they're lying. You know that there's something off here. Um, what else do we have here for uh, Virgo? The person, that, uh, uh, Vir uh, the person that Virgo is dealing with here what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo for June 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have a star card here in the world. Uh, we have the Three of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Wands here and the Seven of Wands. This person is seeing you as a one. This person does want to go very far here with you. Yeah, this person does want to go very far here with the, with the world card here. Or that they want to give you the world here. This person does want commitment here. This is interesting. I'm feeling like it's uh, it's I'm feeling like this is like a sort of like a fake thing here. Because they're showing you that they want commitment, they're making you promises, but at, in actuality, they want to walk away. Maybe they found someone else, 
someone that's uh, someone uh, someone someone else where they feel like the grass is greener on the other side here with a three of pentacles here and the ace of cups so i feel like this person might be in love with two other people here too you and somebody else okay with the ten of wands here and the seven of wands this is interesting this person's overwhelmed or that it's starting to feel like a burden because of the inconsistencies that this person is showing or that the lies that they're telling you here Ten of Wands here and the Seven of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. This person's insecurities are starting to really show here too. Yeah, I just feel like this person cannot be alone. This person cannot be alone. This person needs a lot of attention. This person needs a lot of like just attention, acknowledgement, reinforcements that people do like them for who they are, but then they can't accept it. Ten of Wands here with a Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands here and Judgment. Wow. Something is coming to light here. Yeah, something is coming to light here. You know, it's kind of like one of those things is like you're not really doing anything. You're just going to let this person sort of like tell on themselves or over time it will come to the surface here. It will come to the surface here because it seems like there's other people involved here too. Or that, you know, it seems like you walked away before, you know, it seems like you will walk away before this person walks away from you. But I feel like th that's what this person is planning to do because there is someone here that they're, seems like they're leaving you to be with somebody else. What is the outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding their love situation? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for work on here for June 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have a Strength card and the Queen of Wands. We have a Devil here and the King of Cups. We have, uh, this person's mask is definitely slipping off. Yeah, this person's mask is definitely slipping off here. Um, you know, I do, I do feel like there's a couple of people involved here. I do feel like this person, your your intuition is right all along. Yeah, uh, this person is a narcissistic individual. Okay, this person does love a lot of attention. This person has a ton of people lined up. Uh, if you're not around, this person could go to someone else. You know, um, so and, and so on. Knight of Swords here and the Five of Cups. You're going to find out, and this person is going to be deflecting here. Yeah, this person is not going to take full responsibility for their actions here. Yeah, this person is not going to take full responsibility for their actions here. This person has a history of doing Yeah, this person has a history of doing that. The Queen of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. This is a pattern. This is a pattern here. So your intuition was right about this person here. The red flags that you're seeing here, there's so many people here. We have these Six of Swords. We have the Queen of... Yeah, there's so many people here. I see you moving on from this. Yeah, I, I, I see you already leave. Some of you guys are might have already left this person here. The Knight of Swords here and the Four of Cups. The Five of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. This person's going to come up with like a boatload of excuses here. Yeah, I just feel like this person's going to come up with a boatload of ex excuses here. Um, but I, I feel like, yeah, your intuition is right about this person. Their mask is slipping off or will slip off here. And I feel like it will not only have you noticed it, but all these other people that are in the picture here, they're going to notice it too. Yeah, they're going to notice it too. So um, Virgo, it seems like you dodged a bullet with this one. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.